Does airsoft translate into real firearm skills? Let's go. Let's do it again. Tighten up. On the wall. 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 Hey guys, Lucas here, and I'm here with one of our projects that we've been working on from Japan. This is Liku. He's Aimbot 1.0. But we're going to get him a little firmware update today and see what's going on. The big thing uh, that I see a lot of guys talking about with Airsoft is Airsoft will never benefit shooting. Well, Liku here has been doing Airsoft now for years. He dry fires more than every single shooter here at the range. So what we're going to find out today is can an Airsoft... Now, as somebody that went into the military, I never fired a pistol and barely fired a long rifle. So having no firearm skills... The dry firing, the practice before you even put a round down range did make a difference. Now, I've never done airsoft, but I see this could be beneficial. Never seen it. Let's keep going. Who's never fired a real gun because Lee Q's from Japan where you can't own real firearms. Can he get onto a real firearm, a Glock 19 and my BCM and slay drills having only done airsoft? And that's what we're going to find out today. And I think once he gets the recoil figured out, some of the trigger stuff figured out, He's gonna blaze it down. So you guys want to see this? You ready? All right, all right. Let's do this. So I'll go. I'll go first. We will do six rounds into the top yep. left circle. Two point one zero. All right. All right. That's your turn. Six right. rounds. Six rounds into that circle. Right. Are you ready? I mean, if you think about it for a second, somebody who drills this often, even with an airsoft gun. It's comparable weight, comparable trigger. You get used to it. I think it's going to be beneficial for at least getting your skills down if if you're trained by somebody who can teach you well. In other words, good firearm handling, good trigger discipline, things of that sort before you even pull the trigger. Now, the big thing is for some people, they just don't like the big bang, right? And the felt recoil. So that can be a real issue. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Oh. And you can tell by the way the first round kind of kicks up. He, you know, he's never shot a real handgun before. Probably grip wasn't as tight. But I think this guy's going to get it. If he shoots that much, and I'm not familiar with him in Airsoft World, he should be able to pick it up pretty quick. So he should have really good skills from his Airsoft practice. Now, does that always translate? Of course not. But somebody who does this level of airsoft, from what I understand, he's a go-getter in that world. He should be pretty decent at this. So there's point three one. All right. So we drop a couple low here. And that's a, were you, you were aiming for this? Left. Yes. So what's happening is all you're doing is you're driving the gun down. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fix that. So come with me. And you see how the trigger here has a wall? I want you to go to the wall and then you will fire that shot. So aim at the small circle. Small circle. Yep, go to the wall. Up. Okay, see where the wall is? All right, so we'll put the sights in that small circle and then smooth squeeze to the rear from the wall. For those of you that aren't Glock people, which I am, every Glock trigger is a little different. You can have mush, mush, wall, mush, wall, so what he's saying is the wall is where it's about to break. So if you understand your firearm, that's a benefit of shooting the same thing a lot. You're going to know where the wall's at. It's going to keep you from all that trigger pull, all that slack. And that'll keep you typically from having any sort of variation in your shots. For you guys that are firearm experts, pistol experts, put in the comments what your favorite pistol is to shoot every day. In other words, a shooting pistol and a carry pistol. Mine's a Glock 19. Yes, on the wall. Good. On the wall. Good. Let's tighten up a little bit. Let's, let's get on the gun a little more. So tighten up. Tight. Tighten up so you have less recoil. Yeah, that's what I noticed before. The, the gun was coming up quite a bit, and I think that's a big change from Airsoft. You just got to get a tighter grip on the weapon, lean into it a little bit like this fellow's saying. So we don't have so much muzzle flip so we can get back on target faster. Tighten up. 
On the wall. 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 Reload. Are you? Yes. Are you ready? Stand by. Wow. Good. 3.40. This is Liku's first time shooting a handgun. We've gotten some of that anticipation out of the way. One thing about somebody like this, he's got some good firearms training or some good training, right? Trick of discipline, how to pull out of a holster, some basic stuff there. Now, the question becomes, how does it translate? Well, he doesn't have any bad habits, right? That's a big thing I noticed as being a non-firearm person before I went in is a lot of guys, especially on the rifle, had terrible habits. If you'd shot with a scope before, you weren't used to shoot with iron sights in the Marine Corps. Pistol habits, I had none. I never shot with one. So it definitely makes a difference not going in with any problems to fix right off the bat. Ready? <laughs> Ready. Stand by. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Now your turn. Awesome. Ready? Stand by. Good. If you go back to the beginning, when the muzzle is really flipping a lot, you can see a drastic improvement in this guy. It's pretty amazing. And he listens. And that's a big thing at the range. You'll see people going out there. And they bring their buddy who's not good. And they don't listen to the person who's training them. You know, the new person here. And then you get bad trainer, no listening. They can't hit anything. You know, a lot of times somebody goes to and just whacks off 20 rounds into the target. Well, I've taken some time and saying, okay, did I drop one or all my groups that left? Maybe I need to reevaluate how I'm looking through my sights. Ready? Stand by. Wall. Wall. On the wall. Still yeah. again. Let's do it again. Yep. Stand by. One, two, one. Good. Stand by. One, oh, two. Stand by. Nine, five. The young guy's got a great stance, you know, he's very solid base. Of course, when you got a great instructor, that does help. Quick twitch muscle fibers come to play because he's been practicing with the airsoft. I was kind of reluctant what I thought about airsoft, having never done it. But if you do it and you don't have bad habits there, it's going to translate. If your habits suck at airsoft, they're going to suck with the regular firearm. Don't understand manual of arms and he legitimately understood how to clear malfunctions, why he was clearing them, the safety while he was clearing them, everything. So that was something that really spoke a uh, testimony to dry fire um, and airsoft as a training aid. <laughs> Good. He doesn't have that very solid of a base, but you know, a long gun's far easier to shoot than a pistol for typically 100% of the people. And he, like the man said a minute ago, he doesn't have any bad habits coming in. And I think there could be a misconception here. If I play airsoft, I'm going to be a good shooter. Probably not the case. If you do airsoft and you're trained properly, you're going to have a much better chance to go into shooting a long gun or a pistol. Well, because you got good habits, right? It's like playing flag football and regular football. If you got terrible habits of flag football, regular football you're going to suck at as well. So as you can see, the gun is kind of coming up. Yep. Yeah, that's what I noticed. And all you're going to do is you're going to pull it back. Bang, pull back. Good. Much better. Let's do it again. It's 284. Stand by. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch the difference. If you go back 15 or 20 seconds, you'll see the muzzle flipping. He's kind of a loose in his stance. And now all of a sudden, he's got a great stance at this. You know, the kid's listening. That's half the battle with any of this stuff, is you got a good instructor, first of all. You're listening, second of all. And he's not coming in with bad habits. Now, it's a lot easier to avoid bad habits when you shoot with an airsoft because you're not going to have that natural recoil. You don't have to hold the weapon as tight. That's a big part of this. And I think there's going to be a lot of misconception. Hey, I do airsoft. I want to be outstanding when I join the Army. And probably not because you're going to have bad habits. But if you do train and you pay attention, I'm sure you could get this effect. This kid's pretty amazing. All right, let's do one round. I mean, the difference in the way he stands, his form, just looking at it, is amazing. By no means am I some sort of firearms expert, but you can see he's got a good base, little muzzle flips, he doesn't get back on target as hard, and it just, 
amazing to watch somebody like this who honestly the biggest thing i find here he's listening to this instructor wow What we saw this past weekend is that someone who's had zero formal education, has not taken any firearms classes, has not taken any you know, advanced pistol shooting, advanced rifle shooting, can run with guys who've been training for years, you know, professional SWAT guys, professional military guys, uh, former soft guys, and he can run with them just fine with no formal education. It's just attention to detail from videos that he finds, following good shooters, and then emulating what they're doing, and then putting in the time, putting in the reps. What he just said is right it's spot on, right? You can go to all the tactical courses you want, but if you follow good people, he went online, probably practice at home, you know, pulling from a holster, even an airsoft, practice his stance, paid attention, refined it, got his times down. You see what he's doing now, but there's a lot of pieces here we could go wrong. You follow the wrong guy. You got bad habits. You're not trying to correct the habits. And I think one way to do it is to videotape yourself, right? You videotape yourself doing it. You look at really good shooters and go, okay, what am I doing wrong here? I understand that to be a great way if you can't hit the target because everybody's got a different way of doing it. You can look like total crap. If you're hitting nice groups, whether it's pistol, long gun, why change that, right? You don't need to take a ton of classes to be good at shooting. You just need to work on your own. It's playing scales on a piano. It's boring. You know, nobody wants to do it, but that's ultimately what it comes down to. And we saw a prime example of that the past couple of days. And if you look at firearm training, I can use the example of the U.S. Marine Corps. Before you fire one live round at the range, you do dry firing in positions. So you're getting your position right, dry firing, getting the weapon shoulder correctly, trigger discipline all that's great because when you get there you got the weapon situated in such a fashion where your habits aren't going to be as terrible as they could be if you just got there without any kind of positioning dry firing whether it be dry firing you're just pulling the trigger at your house or airsoft i mean it's the same concept here it's not even like he's been doing this 10 years it's only been three years awesome proof that dry fire does indeed help does indeed work He's been using airsoft for about three years, working drills, very purposeful drills. He follows a lot of us on Instagram and then literally just goes and copies what we're doing. Same fundamentals, gripping the gun normally, working uh, the rifle, reloads, transitioning, all those, uh, all, that, all those good fundamentals. So what are the takeaways here, right? Dry firing's good. Airsoft, similar concept, basically, right? You can dry fire at your house anytime. You can do airsoft when you go to the range. But you got to follow people know what the hell they're doing number one number two i think a lot of people just want to go to the range because it's cool right they want to make it go bang and they think it's going to be easy pistol shooting is probably the hardest thing compared to a rifle pistol is far harder people have a harder time because they just don't do it a lot right so the consistency of doing it and i've got friends that are outstanding i mean they can go from 100 yards of the pistol and be hitting pie plates all day long because they practice, practice, practice. What I mean by that is not 20 rounds, I mean thousands of rounds. So if you're gonna go buy a pistol, buy one that works for you, fits well in your hand. You know, watch these guys that are good. Videotape yourself, see what you're doing wrong. But just putting a lot of rounds down range once you got the fundamentals working. So we're gonna have Liku out again. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. To all my Patreon members, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.